Kamala Harris selected a relative unknown as her running mate, Minnesota Governor Tim Walz. There were more famous names on her short list. There were certainly more moderate picks. There were also names from more hotly contested states. But in her first major decision as the presumptive leader of the Democratic Party, Kamala Harris chose a former high school teacher. There are plenty of questions. What does he bring to the ticket? How will he stack up against J.D. Vance? Is he ready to be a heartbeat away from the Oval Office? But let's start with the big one. Who is Tim Walz? Born in rural Nebraska, Walz moved to a town called Butte when he was a teenager. That's about as small as small towns come. He had a graduating class, something out of the Little House in the Prairie episode, only 25 people total. Growing up in a small town in Nebraska, a town of 400 people, graduating in a class of 25 people, half of them, as he said, were cousins. Well, small town values, that's something that makes him relatable, perhaps, to folks in those key swing states, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, Michigan. After high school, Walls followed his father's footsteps into the military, joining the Army National Guard. I joined two days after my, uh, my 17th birthday in, in 1981. Military service, obviously, that's something that could resonate with veterans. This is a man who served his country. When Tim was just 19, he lost his dad to lung cancer. And that had a profound effect, obviously, on him, but especially his mother, who seemed to go backwards financially. So he manned up and decided that health care was going to be very important for him and for his mother, and he made that a centerpiece of his political career. It started at the outset. You know, this is a guy who lost his dad, who was his hero, when he was a teenager and from lung cancer, Korean War vet, and followed in his dad's footsteps. Walz earned his bachelor's degree at a state college and his master's at a state university. So this is a state college guy. He's not an elitist like an Ivy League guy that now decided to go into politics. This is somebody who could be very relatable in the key states that matter. He started his career as a teacher. That's where he met his future wife, Gwen Whipple. I taught sixth grade history for a while, uh, teaching in Nebraska. That's where I met my wife and um, she moved me back to Minnesota. Um, very compatible, I said, as far as guard units, you're able to transfer to ones, and they found me one uh, near my hometown in Mankato, Minnesota. They got married, they had some kids. She was originally from Minnesota, so he moved back to her home state where he became a teacher and a coach, and she was a teacher as well. There's countless stories, and we're gonna hear even more from his former students about the real role that, that he had in their lives. One thing the campaign will have to answer for, Walz's 1995 DUI. I believe in redemption. And in the wake of that, really, you know, somewhat turned his life around. You know, a campaign like this, especially given who they're running against, can overcome that when it comes to character debates. After 9-11, Walz, who reached the rank of commanding Sergeant Major, deployed to support Operation Enduring Freedom as part of a European security force. We ended up providing uh, uh, part of the unit provided base security for Air Force bases. We were the one that was with the, the Army base. But a funny thing happened when we got to the year 2005. Two things happened at once. He gets an opportunity to run for Congress, but that would mean he would have to leave his unit, which just happened to get deployed to Iraq. Many of those same soldiers I was with after I retired ended up spending the longest deployment since World War II in Iraq with the 34th Division Combat Team. Republicans, including vice presidential candidate J.D. Vance, are hitting hard on questions about the timing of when Walz left the military. When Tim Waltz was asked by his country to go to Iraq, you know what he did? He dropped out of the army and allowed his unit to go without him. Waltz got his start in politics as a county coordinator for John Kerry in 2004. Now, why would Kerry need help with veterans? Well, obviously, Swift Boat was a big problem. Ended up costing Kerry the election. Kerry won Minnesota for two reasons, Minneapolis and St. Paul. Tim Waltz is a Twin Cities guy, but if you look at electoral maps in terms of the political makeup of Minnesota, here you have the Twin Cities, bright blue, and the rest of the state basically all red. Tim Waltz, I'm a teacher from Mankato. By 2006, Waltz was ready for his own race, and his timing could not have been better. So this was a guy that wasn't looking to run for office. He had spent two decades teaching in public schools. The Republicans took a beating in the 2006 midterms. President George W. Bush at the time called it a thumping. 